What's up y'all, it's me Tasha C. And this particular video y'all, I'm just gonna do a couple quickies. I'm just gonna do my uh, Black Love tomorrow. I might do Merry First Sight tomorrow or uh, tomorrow during the day. It's Christmas Eve y'all, but shout out to my YouTube fam. And like and share this video, maybe not subscribe, whatever, let's get into it. Now, I ran into a couple topics today um, that I felt like talking about. And the first one in this particular video is talking about Steve Harvey actually, in a way, gets the last laugh to a certain extent because um, he has a multi-year contract with the Miss Universe. Um, so I think they're talking most likely nine times ten. It's, a, it's allegedly that he has signed for a couple years. He's also one of the, one of the uh, highest host, uh, paid hosts, I meant to say. And on top of that... Um, did I mention he, you know, they were saying he was invited. I think on Entertainment Night they said he had the multi-year contract, I think, and he was invited next year in a couple years to, um, still do the, you know, do the pageant, host the pageant. And I heard that it was rumors also in the Forest Rocks and somewhere else, like if I know it's from Forest Rocks, that she, that they were saying that actually he took the blame because he was looking at teleprompter and it actually had said Miss Columbia was, you know, um, was the winner. And he just said the blame, he just said it was the card and just took the blame, you know, not to make it say, you know, the people, whoever run the pageant basically fucked it up. But, I kind of said to me, I first thought that he was very tired and he was doing so much. And I even heard from my niece today that he does, he have his own bacon out? He even selling bacon? He been selling bacon and suits now, okay? I mean, he has all this stuff going on, so I really had thought, like, it was because he has so much going on, and because he's a human, uh, most of us, you know, we only do so much, and our body has to tell us, stop! So, I thought it was one of those things, right? But in the end, somebody made a suggestion when I did the video on my last one. Oh, my, I'm sorry, y'all. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to get these little videos in, upload, and take my behind the bed. But, like, what I want to say is, since it's technically, it's already Christmas Eve, like I say again... Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, happy Hanukkah. Who's up? Happy, happy Kwanzaa. And this, anybody, if they don't celebrate any holidays, they all have a happy day and happy weekend, okay? <laughs> Whatever. Stay safe and stay, stay happy. Um, but, um, it's just that in the end, somebody had brought it up that he could probably bring the girls onto, the ladies onto the show, not girls, excuse me. Onto a show and you know, like do something for them and bring a show. But this actually, in the end, even though I heard like some people that were calling Steve all these racist names, or I think maybe the country's got missing, which is kind of sad and disturbing. But unfortunately, we all know with some of these these things called troll holes that us YouTubers or just sometimes just in general, people get a little brave and get what I like to call inner inner courage, and then they sometimes feel comfortable to say a bunch of bullshit. Or, you know, like I said, they somehow get gangster behind the keys, you know, of a iPhone, tablet, or, you know, whatever, or, I mean, laptop, you know, stuff like that. But what I want to say is in the end that it was an interesting and honest mistake, uh, you know, but it's something where it's like an end, you know, this came out to be positive because the dude, he's still going to get a check, and it's still going to happen if he is going there for a couple more years, whatever, and this will blow off because it's like in the end, yeah, it was a little bit awkward, embarrassing, and you got the real widow looking like in my post take a crown. Is somebody gonna take a crown? And you know, they had to have somebody take off the crown, the girl. But in the end, it's really not that bad, I guess. In the end, it just they might make the car more clear or, 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 or read whatever. But it's just, you know, like I said, you never know. And if any of us was up there, y'all, and, you know, have so much going on, whatever, and y'all looked at the car, would y'all personally, um, like, do something similar to Steve Harvey? If y'all had, like, so much, you know, had these businesses and all this stuff going on, and the children, raise your family and everything else, and, you know, would, how would y'all, you know, would y'all have a chance that that might happen? I don't know, I, um, maybe, mm, I, I mean, I'm gonna look over, just hold on a second, let me look, look again, the winner... <laughs> I, I'm just saying though, but in the end, it's just good and it, it doesn't end off at a negative note. And it's something like by the time next week comes, or maybe even tomorrow, shoot, who knows, that it kind of will get brushed off. I mean, it was good laughs for it to a certain point, 
and you know it's like it's not the worst thing in the world you know there's all there, there's some things that are way worse than that that us humans should be paying attention to um and trying to stop and resolve but and it's like oh this dude is going to be hosting again they like them as a whole supposedly so he good we all good <laughs> so that was just my little input y'all but how is y'all did y'all hear about you know how y'all feel about him still hosting whatever but i think like that's not a bad thing whatever you know what i mean you know so whatever but then let's be for real who the hell was watching Miss Universe before we found out about this? I wasn't. Was y'all watching it? I mean, be honest with you, like, it caused them bringing more attention. So, they probably actually, in a way, sometimes, you know, as I always say, you can find good in the bad thing or finding, you know, the good solution. In this case, not only is it bringing attention to both the, the contestants, the real runner-up, and the winner... But it brings Steve Harvey in the whole show itself that it probably a lot of people, especially if he hosts this next year, most likely. It, look how many views it's going to get. Probably just to see what he's going to do. It's maybe people who originally did not watch Miss Universe 9 times a 10. So it's bringing attention to franchises. I mean, ching ching, more money, okay? So, in a way, it's helping as opposed to being harmful. You know, it's a big, big mistake. They like the girl, you know, beat the girl's ass. Like, give me my crown, bitch. And, you know, fuck you. This is my crown. It it's my time. You get the hell on. This is mine. Okay. He said my name. Get off. And, you know, they like she pushing away and just stumped her with her stiletto and kept going. Okay. So, it it it's, you know, it's not like it ended where, you know, these girls got Twitter beef or something. I don't know why I keep saying girls. Ladies got Twitter beef and they kept going. It it's not that bad. But anyway, y'all, what do y'all think? And, hmm. That's pretty interesting. And if y'all, if, if Steve Harvey really does have a banking line, have y'all tried it? It's delicious. Was it worth it? Uh, yeah, I, I would be curious about that too, you know. So anyway, y'all, we plus night, plus weekend, hugs and love, and I'll definitely see y'all in the next video. All right.